What is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to Call of Duty realism mode with a shotgun I think this game type really shows off the brand new engine and that barricade on the vent fits perfectly And I'm always gonna place my barricade right there because I hate going into the vents It's so dark if you ever go into the vents and you can't see people and when you die to someone in the vent It just feels like they're a dirty rat, but what's going on? Everybody, it's your host with the most white boy 7th Street, and I'm already missing the beta. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was playing since like 10 p.m., and I thought maybe the beta would go off at midnight. And a few hours later, I was pleasantly surprised at 6 a.m., it was still up. And then I just said, I'm gonna keep playing. I already pulled an all nighter, my sleep schedule's messed up. I'm gonna play until it stops. I put in like Maybe 12 hours of total game time uh, yesterday until the servers uh, tragically went offline around noon. So I am a little delusional right, right now, uh, but I really enjoy this game. And I don't know if it is because I woke up at 9 p.m. with like a Call of Duty hangover and I'm still delusional or brainwashed. But I think this is one of the best Call of Duties on PS4 and xbox one if not the best and that's not that big of an accomplishment let's be real uh, a few of the recent call of duties were trash but look at that moment right there just the shotgun blast putting him back on his ass just looks so good in realism mode and i was playing this game type about as much as i was playing 10 v 10 and man can you just imagine this game with infected but maybe like 50 players in infected or something crazy like these maps are pretty big and there's a lot of little hiding spots and that's something that the recent call of duties did not have that this game has and there's a little bit of chaos in this game where it's not super micromanaged and it's almost like david vonahar was creating some kind of simulation and he was the god where there was no variety in a sense and what i mean by that is there was no closet to go prone and hide in there was no little nook and cranny to camp in it seemed like and i know oh camping's a bad thing but just what i mean is the maps were almost like they were built out of lego blocks and there was there was n it was just squares and shapes and there was like either he, he was going to come through this door to the left or to the right and it was like this this narrow three lane system where there was no i say this a lot you weren't playing call of duty call of duty was playing you and i feel like there's a little unorganized chaos in this game that actually makes it more of a game there's a little bit more freedom and i like that it's not super open maps but if you look uh, over there by the shipping containers there's open land and that feels like refreshing in call of duty to me and i like that i like sometimes i'm getting abused in the spawns and it's hard to fight out of a spawn and you need to work for it you're not just going to get your hand held oh you get the specialist you become thor for 10 seconds because you just participated in the game for a little bit and you have to actually work and it seems like there's a lack of SJW stuff. We're we'll see, we're we'll see um, how that plays out. I think they they learned uh, their lesson, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> but either way, like I I like the colors of the game. I think it looks great on on the new engine, and there's a few different game types, and I I really would recommend this as a tip and trick to the people out there. If you're just stuck playing one game type over and over again you might be really good at that game type but i would play a, a few different games and just be a generally a, a, a good call of duty player no matter what the game type and that's going to improve your overall call of duty skill if you're just using one gun over and over and over again and you just use the m4 and you don't try anything else like the shotgun that i'm using right now makes me traverse the map a little sm like smarter and sometimes i find myself in a situation where i'll traverse with the shotgun and i'll get into a really good position 
and I'll pick up a uh, AK or some kind of assault rifle or even a sniper and I'll be in such oh wow that was cool I'll be in such a good position because I rushed with the shotgun that it puts me in a, a position that I normally wouldn't be in and I'll be at some like crazy like because with the shotgun you have to rush into their spawn but you know sometimes I'll pick up an M4 and I'll be in their spawn but I'll go to the building they're camping in maybe I kill them with the shotgun and then where they're camping they're expecting uh, uh, you know their team is expecting you know a sniper to be there uh, supporting them it's actually me surprise and then I get a, a few kills and I don't know I explained that within like two minutes and I think I did a pretty bad job but um, you guys get the point they, you have to read between the lines and you become maybe a world record holder of your own one day. Don't criticize me. I'm criticizing myself. Who am I talking to right now? I'm talking to myself. I'm crazy. I need the Call of Duty beta back.